Psalm 35 and water. Yes, this video has been going viral. Um, I've been getting testimonies from my previous video about Psalm 35 and water. A powerful psalm and a very, very strong illustration using water. Highly effective. Loads of testimonies. Mind-blowing miracles. Joy-dropping miracles. And I also have a testimony. And that is why I have decided to do a part two of this. If you're new to this channel, welcome. The Lord has ordered your step and trust me, your joy will be full. In the name of Jesus. And to you, my returning viewers, you have no idea. Your messages are encouraging. God bless you. Psalm 35 is a popular psalm. And some of us seldom read it. I tell you, if you know how strong that psalm is, you will not go a day. Okay, let's start with a month. You will not go a month without reading it. And of course, there will be testimonies. Then, you will not go a week without reading it. Of course, lots of testimonies. And then, you will make it a constant verse in your household. I'm here to share my testimony about Psalm 35 and water. I do these prayers almost all the time because my kind of job is moving from one place to another. Secondly, I need the angels of the Lord to move ahead of me and make every crooked way straight. Number three, I need favor. Number four, I need the Lord all by himself to set confusion. If I mistakenly step into a wrong place, I need the Lord to bring about confusion in their midst so that I can flee. If I begin to tell you my kind of job, you know that of a truth, it is the job for the male. But yes, we were employed, about four of us were employed in the same job. And by the grace of God, I've been doing it. And there are times fear would want to grip me. Of course, I am human. Again, Psalm 35 and water reminds me of God's perfect protection. How he said in his word that he will plead my cause with them that strive with me. He will fight against those who fight against me. If peradventure they have ganged up against me, waiting for me to come so that they can strike, the Lord has promised me perfect protection and preservation in his word. Now in my previous video about Psalm 35 and water, I talked about vengeance. I talked about confusion in the, in the camp of your enemies. I talked about how God fought for me against a woman that troubled me in my marriage. Today, I'll be talking about my experience last month. I've been in a healing process because, yes, I had little injury, but the Lord took control. So um, I just wanted to be completely okay so that I can come here to share my testimony. Hallelujah. Now, what happened? On my way to execute my duty as a court bailiff, going to a, 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 a street to serve a notice, a quit notice. Now I boarded a bus, a mini bus, like a shuttle. I boarded a mini bus heading to my destination. We drove just 20 minutes and then we saw some persons at the junction. Of course, the driver needs money. His bus has to be full. He stopped by and he picked one man. The man said they are two. And he told the man, it's just one space remaining. And I was sitting in front for the seats to be complete. One person has to join me. So our driver told the man that sorry, it's just one seat. And the second person said, come on, I will hang at the door. The driver said, okay, he needs his money. Of which I don't know if they are a gang. Just listen to my testimony. I shifted. I was the only person in front. I shifted. And the man hopped in. The second man stayed by the door and held the handle of the door. And we were moving. We drove again about um, 10 minutes. Suddenly, the man that was holding the door was sitting. How it happened, I don't know. Probably they shifted for him. 
I don't just know what happened. And that was when I immediately started thinking, I, I've entered the wrong bus. Like they were gangs of thieves. The one at the back said, hey, 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 hey. Everybody should be calm. Though he said it in a local way, but then I want you all to understand this perfectly. He said, hey, 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 hey. Everyone should be calm. That they did not come here for everybody. But that they are here in this vehicle for the driver and the lady at the front. When I heard the lady at the front, of course I am the lady. I turned back. I looked at him and I, and I said nothing. I took my face forward and he said, I'm talking to you. Why are you putting on black? I was putting on a plain black skirt, just um, um, below my knee and a gold belt. He said, you lady in front, why are you putting on black? Don't you know today is a courtism day? Today is a day set aside for us to celebrate as courtists. I told him, young man, um, where I work, there's no restriction to colors. And the popular uniform in court is black and white. I work in the courts. So please, I never knew that I wasn't supposed to put on black today. He said he does not believe me. That there are other courtes that their uniform is black and red or black and yellow. And I told him I'm not putting on such. He told the man in front to collect my phone. The man looked at me and could not summon courage to take my phone. The one at the back stretched forth his hands and grabbed my phone. You know, he's a man. Dragged it off my hand. And I laughed. Immediately I started reminding God of Psalm 35 and water. I did the previous day. I did not do it that day, but I did it the previous day. And I've been doing it. As the spirit leads, I read my Psalm 35 into my water and I drink it with faith. I said, God, in my heart, I did not steal money to buy this phone. And let me shock you. It was two days to the fourth man in the fire. I don't know how many of you saw that live stream. And if you're yet to see it after this video, please see it at the end of this video. I'll be tagging it at the end of this video. I already scheduled a program here. The fourth man in the fire. I was already prepared for this program, which ought to be held two days from that day this incident happened. I started reminding God in that vehicle, I tell you, the vehicle was moving, and an unknown man was holding my phone. A phone I used to serve God. A phone I used to talk to you all. A phone that I did not steal to get it. I was panting, and I said, God, you promised me in Psalm 35 that you will plead my cause with those that strive with me. You said you will fight against those who fight against me. As I reminded God, I heard a voice that said to me, look back. And when I looked, the man with my phone was no longer in the vehicle. Whilst the car was moving, he jumped down. And as I looked, he has jumped down. I looked forward. The one beside me also came down. And it was like a Bollywood movie. I told the driver, driver, please stop me. Those men are with my phone. And the driver said, madam, I cannot stop you. I am also scared. I said, no, 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 no. These people are with my phone. Stop me. How I summoned that courage till today, I cannot tell. But of a truth, the fourth man in the fire stepped into the situation. The driver was moving and I flew out of the moving vehicle. Now, why did I do that? They could be kidnappers. Yes. They could be gangs of thieves. Now they have taken my phone. And what if they are about to kidnap me? How do I reach out to my loved one? They are with my phone and they will start asking for ransom. This is a popular thing in my country. And in my heart, I was just hearing, what if they are kidnappers? And immediately... The Lord, all by himself, took me out of that vehicle. 
a moving vehicle. How I did it, I don't know. How it happened, I don't know. People of God, this is a testimony I've been wanting to share. But I wanted to be completely better before I could share. There is power in the word of God. There is power when the word of God is spoken, especially into water. Especially into anything. And be it anointing oil, be it water, be it mantle. There is power. I flew out of a moving vehicle. To the glory of God, no other car was coming. How the Lord kept the road still, I don't know. I found myself somersaulting on the floor because it was a moving vehicle. And I had these bruises. I don't know if you can see. See my knee. See my knee. I can't show you my feet. There are still some bruises on my feet. See it. It's going and I was waiting for it to be completely healed and before I could share. I don't want anything that will, that will irritate you. When I came down, this one will blow your mind. There is no thief here in Port Harcourt City, Nigeria, River State, that will take your phone and still be at a spot. I gave this testimony in church and people were shouting. People were dropping their seats. To the glory of God. People of God, after some assaulting on the floor, at that point, I did not care about my phone. Oh, I don't know how to explain this. At that point, all that matters was my life. I, I was seeing my, my husband in my face. I was seeing my kids in my face. I was seeing my loved ones in my face. And all I was fighting for was my life. Lo and behold, the angels that the Lord promised held me calmly and I landed on the floor. Yes, I somersaulted with little bruises, but no internal bleeding, no heavy pains, no nothing. I picked up the notice I was going to serve. I picked up my bags that, you know, things scattered from my bag, my documents. I picked them off, dusted my body, and I was about to cross over Take another vehicle back home. As a matter of fact, I was done for that day. People of God, as I raised my head up after picking my things, I saw the thieves with my phone from a distance. They were still like somebody used nail. You know how they nailed our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Like somebody used nail to nail their feet to the floor. They were looking at me from afar. And when I looked at them, the Lord said, pursue, overtake, and recover your phone. Ha! I tell you, when I heard pursue, overtake, recover your phone, there is a program in front of you, the fourth man in the fire. I started running. I pursued them. Like I ran towards them because they were just standing and moping at me. I have never seen, heard, or experienced such incident before. People that collected my phone, that were supposed to run into a street, and if you see the junction, like the, the spots where they took my phone from and came down, different streets, of course they would have just entered into one street, and that is it about my phone. Now I caught up with them. And they were staring at me. I walked up to them. And I told them, please, give me my phone. You know what they asked me? They said, what happened? I said, are you asking me what happened? You just saw me flew out of a moving vehicle. Because you're holding my phone. And because I'm also scared, I don't know who those people are. They said, no, that they would have given me my phone. I said, where would you have seen me to give me my phone? I said, please, give me my phone. And they looked at my leg. Of while I was running, my shoe, one of my shoe, got caught. I picked it up and I was also holding it, uh, you know, with one hand, holding my documents in another. I was looking like a lunatic. Oh, you see this, God? Now they said, I should look. I looked. It was a junction ahead of us. Like a bus stop ahead of us. They said, let's walk to that bus stop. That I'm so beautiful to be walking with just a pair of shoes. I told them, don't bother. All that matters right now 
is my phone. If you hadn't taken my phone, probably I would not come out of this vehicle. Please give me my phone. I want to head to my destination. They said no, and they were so serious about it. That please, 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 these are thieves. I tell you, when the Lord turns the hands of the captive, you shall be like the one that is dreaming. It was as though I was dreaming. I said, okay, let me play cool just to get my phone. I followed them and we're walking like we were family. Hmm. You see this, God? We walked to the bus stop and they saw a man, a cobbler. They gave him my shoe. What surprised me? <laughs> I saw an undiluted God. I saw the finger of God raw. I saw some cats of five and water speak in my life. They paid. They did not ask me for money. They took money from their pockets and they fixed my shoe. These are people that called themselves courtists. These are people that were blaming me for putting on black. These were people that collected my phone because they felt, you know, I was some, I, I belonged to something or I don't know for them. I was watching them. They fixed my shoe. And one of them was even, when they gave me the shoe, I was wearing it. He was helping me wear it. Said I should wait. That I've injured myself. That look at my knee. I've injured myself. He was shouting for me for, for injuring myself. He was helping me fix my shoe. And I said, God, is this you? Is this your finger? When he was done, he said, eh, that what will happen now is I have to find something small for them. No matter how much that they are hungry. I said, no problem. Just give me my phone. People of God, the one holding the phone, dipped his hand into his pocket. And he gave me my phone. Ah, people of God, he gave me my phone. I am still marveled. I am still perplexed. I am still very much shocked in that incident. When he gave me my phone, I looked at my phone and confirmed that it was my phone. I put it in my bag and I brought out a thousand naira, my currency. I gave it to him. I told him, this is all I have. You have to split it into two, like 500, 500. Take 500 and give me 500 so that I can go back to my destination. Lo and behold, he collected the 1,000 I was watching him. He went back to the cobbler, made, made a change. Yes, he divided it into two, gave me 500 and took 500. That was how he left. Both of them left. And I was still seated at the bus stop. I was watching them. I realized that it is not by power. It is not by might. It is not because I come here to talk all the time. But it is by the grace of God. Not because I am righteous. Oh! Father, thank you. And a lady who sells orange by the bus stop. I never knew she was watching what was happening. She said, Madam, the phone they gave to you, is it your phone? I said, yes. He said they took it from you and they gave it back to you. I said yes. And I explained briefly what happened. She said, Madam, who is your God? May I know your God? These people that keep terrorizing this vicinity. You even, they collected your phone and they were standing at the spot. These are people that will take phone and they will flee to different streets. You cannot even see them. What did you do that kept them at that spot? And I said, it is the fourth man in the fire. I said, it is the Lord that has promised me in Psalm 35 that he will fight against them that fight against me. People of God, if you are yet to do the prayers using Psalm 35 and water, please do it. Most importantly, Psalm 35 and water is not for those that are soaked in sin. It is for the children of God. Every promise the Lord has promised us in, in his word. It is for those that are his children. And that is why I always say it here. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And every prayer, every video I do here, if you do the same, it will work for you. See me that comes to tell you it is working and it is still working for me. I said, God, thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you, the covenant-keeping God. Thank you, the God that keeps to his promises. 
and the lady was watching me as I got up and left. And by the grace of God, I am better. The injuries are healed. And I am with my phone, the same phone I'm using to talk to you all. What is that thing you are going through in life? Have people mocked you? Have they ganged up against you? Do the Psalm 35 and water prayers. Make it a part of you once in a week. Now you may be asking, why am I doing these prayers with water? Water is life. Water brings about satisfaction. There is no, or no special thing about water. I just love to pray into my water and I might take it. The same way you pray into your food. The same way you bless your mantle. I love to bless my water. And when I drink it, I get that satisfaction. And it is faith and belief. You know when you have eaten, I've eaten God's word. I have read Psalm 35. I have digested it. And then I drink water. It is simply satisfaction. And you will see the finger of God in that matter. You will see the finger of God. You will see the finger of God in that situation. Now, how do you do this? I said it in my previous video. I don't know. It depends on, on what you are going through. Depends on the weight of what you are going through. But I tell you, everybody needs these prayers. For preservation, for safety, for God's protection, you just need it. When people are ganging up against you, you also need to do these prayers. Get up in the middle of the night. I love doing this. In the middle of the night, breaking Monday morning. Yes. This story I just told you happened on Tuesday. And I did these prayers on Sunday. I think I earlier said the previous day. No. I did these prayers. Okay, it's actually the previous day because I did it between the hours of 2 a.m. on Sunday. So it's already Monday. So I'm, I'm perfectly correct. It's already Monday. I just got up to pee and I got my water. I opened Psalm 35 and I was reading it into my water. Little did I know that the enemy has set an ambush on Tuesday for me. And the Lord proved himself strong and mighty. He proved himself that he is God over all in my life. Read Psalm 35 in the early hours of the morning. Don't exceed 4 a.m. Don't exceed it. Into your water. After that, you pray. Don't just read and you say you are done. No. You know what you're reading that psalm for? Something prompted to you doing that at that time, an odd hour, when people are sleeping. Begin to speak. Command your week. My week shall be fruitful. The Lord shall go before and after me. Angels on assignment, move. Make every crooked way straight. Attack my attackers and chase my chasers. Open the windows of heaven and shower me with blessings, O Lord. I am preserved. I am redeemed. I am protected. No people from the fashion against me shall prosper. When you are done, decreeing and declaring, you drink your water of satisfaction. That is it. Just take your water. It is water. It is not water gotten from anywhere. It is water from your tap or from your, your bottle water at home. And then you drink it. <laughs> your testimonies will be mind-blowing. I don't know that difficulty you're facing in your, in your place of work. In your place of work, do the Psalm 35 and water prayers. And those that hate you will begin to love you. Kings shall come to your rising. Favor will be all around you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we've come to the end of this video. If the Lord has laid in your heart to partner with this channel, kindly become a patron by clicking on the link in the comment section. Let your fingers be crested in the life of the less privileges. Because in few days time, I and my team will be embarking to the hospitals to discharge those that are now better. And of course, your assistance is needed by becoming a patron. God bless you all. If you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button. Again, share. Here in this channel, we don't eat alone, we share. See you in my next video. Bye for now.